Hey, good afternoon. My name is Demo Fofana. I'm 26 years old and about a year and a half ago I decided to move to Mali to uh, set up a farm with my father. Um, at the moment I'm trying out different farming systems but the one uh, I'm most excited about is agroforestry. The obstacles that, I, uh, that I'm facing right now on my farm when it comes to setting up an agroforestry system is uh, labor. Um, because if you, let's say you want to plant uh, uh, hedgerows on a, uh, just one hectare, you already have to, to plant like quite a large number of trees, talking about a few thousand. And you need to do this in a very short amount of time. Um, this is because you want to plant all your trees at the onset of the rainy season, uh, so that they grow long enough, so that afterwards they can survive during the dry season without you needing to water them. Um, and since, well, in the countryside everybody is basically working in their own field at the start of the rainy season, uh, it can be quite hard to find enough people to, well, plant, let's say, a few hundred trees um, every day. So this is one struggle, one obstacle that I'm facing myself. Another problem um, that I would imagine with, land, um, with agroforestry is uh, land ownership. Um, so a lot of farmers don't actually own the land that they, they grow on. Um, it could belong either to another family member, um, it could belong to the village chief, or it could belong to a richer, uh, rich landowner. And so they borrow the land for, uh, for a number of years. And to plant a tree is to uh, claim a piece of land uh, for a longer amount of time, so not just a few years, but really like maybe even for generations to come. So if somebody borrows, you, you, you borrow some land for somebody for just a, a few years and then you start planting trees on it, which means that basically you own the land now, this would be seen in a very bad way. So this, I think, um, in Mali would be a major constraint um, to, to implementing agroforestry.